guess to talk about the uh, the little crash I had a couple of weeks back that caused the FRI to end up in the shop. They still haven't contacted me, so I don't really know how bad it is. From a distance, you can't really tell that anything happened. You have to get pretty close to notice any kind of damage on the bike. It's not mangled all over the place. But. So anyway, what happened was I'm riding along on a twisty road like this, except there's like a you know a 500 foot drop I think on the right side and a stone wall on the left, but it's just like this, one lane each way. And I'm getting a little tired, so that's like you're gonna find that any kind of crash is usually some sort of chain reaction, any kind of incident. And so I'm riding along this twisty road, I'm getting a little tired, I should have stopped. What happened was, I was getting a little tired and I thought, you know, I'll take, I'll take one more run. I'll take one more run. And this run involved me heading out like an hour and a half away from home, just to ride this one road. And I thought, well, it was fun. And I've, only, I've only driven that road, and I've never ridden it on a motorcycle. And even in a car, it could be kind of scary. So I'm riding along. If you go back and look at that Rim of the World video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And my video, uh, my video flight recorder, if you will, ran out of memory just before it happened, about 10 seconds or so before it happened. So when I got back down from the mountain and I checked the camera, which had survived the, the crash, I was understandably upset when I realized that I didn't have any photo or video evidence of it to post and maybe analyze and see what I did wrong. But basically, I was getting tired so I started to shift really poorly. I started to downshift before turns a little sloppily. I was dumping the clutch a lot. I was just not really on the ball. And that was a huge mistake. to take breaks. Even if you're not hurting, even if you, you know, your butt's not sore, your legs aren't sore, your arms aren't sore, you need to stop once in a while, chill. It just helps clear your mind. So when you get back on the bike, you feel automatically refreshed, you feel a little bit more alert. point here. I hit a, I was starting to hit false neutrals because I was downshifting before these turns and I wasn't really letting up the clutch very well. But also I would click down because I was going at a fairly slow speed like I am now. I, would, I was taking a lot of the turns in second or third gear. And at one point I was in second and I'd be switching to first and occasionally I'd hit neutral going down. It'd be a half click down, I'd be in neutral. And that's what they call hitting a false neutral. And let this guy by first. That, it's, that in itself is bad, but not particularly catastrophic or anything. So it's like you're coming in, maybe you're in second gear, and you accidentally end up in neutral. But this bike doesn't seem to do that at all, which is interesting. You can't get this thing to stay in neutral. Let me try that again.
Okay. My first gear. There, I'm in neutral. The coasting in neutral, right? And so I take the turn in neutral. I go around the turn in neutral. And I didn't know I was in neutral when I was in the when I was entering the turn. I thought I was in first gear. And so as soon as I'm in the turn, I start rolling on the gas, rolling on the gas. I realize, oh, there's no power going to the, the bike. I look down, the neutral light's on, and so I say, oh, shit. And I just coast the turn. I just do like this, neutral, coast through. I coast out of the left part here. And that's when I say, okay, and I downshift into first and, you know, let out the clutch and everything. Unfortunately, if you lock the rear tire on a downshift while your bike is slightly leaned, like you're, you're slightly out of alignment, or you're leaned over, you're going to cause the bike to go into a wobble, which is exactly what happened. And I'm sure I must have done something wrong after that, because when you get into like the tank slapper, like I said before, the bike is supposed to self right itself. The bike is designed to self stabilize by design. And if you let go of the bars or just sort of ease off on them and don't try to fight the wobble, and you, you know, slowly ease off the gas. And as soon as the bike starts to drop below a certain speed, it should start to even itself out. But that does take some time and some space. But we're on a road like this, where we're wobbling, 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 and here we are to this, coming up to a, a right-hander turn like that. And so there isn't really much time. So I'm right here, like here, right here. I'm wobbling, I'm wobbling. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And I think at this point, I touch the right brake, the front brake, and I go off the left side. And I hit the ground about, well, it was faster than this. It must have been closer to 40 miles an hour. I go off, I land on my left elbow, I hit, hit my left shoulder, I roll over onto my back, and then I'm like a turtle on my back, my head pointed down into the road, and I'm looking up at the sky, sliding along for a good three, four seconds. And then I get up, and of course, the only thing I can think about at this point is, oh my god, what the fuck happened to my bike? Yeah, I, I'm, this is a common story. I had another acquaintance of mine who crashed his bike. He didn't stop in time for a truck that was parked in the actual road illegally. But same thing for him. He got out of the crash completely unscathed, or mostly unscathed jumps up, runs over, and he's just worried about the bike and how, whether it's in good condition or not. And then, of course, traffic is stopped in both directions. I get up, and I look over, and my head is like half a foot from the guardrail and the 500 foot drop. But I don't care about that. All I care about is, is my bike okay? Which way does this go? Is my bike okay? And the first two guys, they're driving these SUVs, they jump out, traffic is stopped on both ways, and they say, they're like, are you okay, are you okay? And they're running up to me, and I get up, I give them the thumbs up, my right index finger hurts like crazy, but well, it doesn't hurt like crazy, because I've got so much adrenaline rushing at this point, so I don't really feel any pain or soreness. But I'm giving thumbs up, some woman drives rolls by in her SUV and she leans out the window and says, are you all right? And I give her the thumbs up, I give everyone the thumbs up. The guy says, all right, let's get the bike off the road. This helpful uh, guy who's driving by. So, turns out he's a motorcyclist, motorcyclist himself when he's not driving his truck. 